Hey, 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 welcome guys and welcome to the part two of this uh, getting started with Terraform tutorials with Somal Shah. And let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to configure basically your AWS with Terraform. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to log in onto my AWS account. All right, log in. So you also log in. All right, I'm in. And what are we going to do? We are going to create and go to IAM and we got to create a user. So IAM. So here I am, and you wanna click on the user section right there. And I wanna click on the add user. Once I click here, um, give it an any username. I'm gonna delete it, so let's call this as YouTube. And make sure to enable programmatic access. That's very important, right? So once you have that access, go to click next permissions. Um, this is a pretty big, uh, pretty uh, ugly hack. I won't recommend, but um, for now we're gonna use administrative access uh, because for learning purposes, uh, it's fine. But when you go to production, uh, don't do that, okay? <laughs> so administrative access. So we're gonna click on next tag right there. And you wanna enter a key value pair. It's uh, optional, so I'm not gonna do that. Now the important thing comes is next review. And, and then you wanna say create user. So do that and after that you would get your access key and secret key. So you wanna copy that, right? So once you do that, right? Okay, once you do that guys, what I want you to do is basically, remember in the part one I told you to go, uh, we, we basically created a folder called as Terraform in the desktop and then we put the exe file um, in the bin folder, right? And then we configured the environment variable. Now what I, wanted to, what I want you to do is basically create a folder called as AWS, right? And inside that, create a folder called as credential. Do, remember, it's not .txt, just credentials, okay? So make sure to do that. And what you gotta do is what you gotta type inside that is basically this. This should be the format, and if you do not um, uh, follow this format, you are gonna get errors and I'm not responsible. So. You would say the default in the um, square brackets and then in the, on the next line you would say AWS access key underscore ID and then where it says XXX, replace your key, okay? No quotes, okay? Similarly for secret access key, uh, replace it right here. And you wanna put this stuff, uh, so once you do that, what you wanna do is rename and take out the text portion right there, save it and you would say yes, of course. I'm not gonna do, the, do it because I have already done it and then move it in the AWS folder, okay? Very, very important, okay? So so, so, uh, so basically you would have two files, the bin and AWS, so kindly do that. Again, this is the format, right, to um, do it, right? Now, uh, if you have done all of the things correctly uh, in the next video, we will write our first Terraform script, that is Terraform with S3. So what this will do is basically, we'll write a script to create an S3 bucket, but using Terraform. So we'll start with simple and then we'll go a um, little bit advanced. We'll learn about EC2 instances and all of that, static IP, elastic IP, we will do every single thing. But now let's get started slowly, slowly. Let's not hurry, okay? This is part two. See you guys in the part three where we will be creating our first Terraform, uh, first Terraform script. I'll be explaining you about the plans and the commands and all of that, Terraform graphs. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited uh, to um, teach you. Uh, hopefully even you are to learn. Um, and see you guys in the part three where we will be writing our first script for S3 Bucket. All right, see you guys in the next video.